What's going on guys? It's Blue Monkey. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am calling all hunters. Seriously. And I'm calling you, for the love of God, to learn the survival subclass. According to the data, survival is the least played spec in the entire game. And that's just sad. Now, with the nerfs that came to marksmanship with patch 9.0.5, I think it's more important than ever to kind of round out your kit and your hunter skills by learning that third subclass. Now, I understand it plays very differently than any of the other hunter subclasses. Uh, and for most people, it's kind of a tough transition, especially if you've only played hunter. Now, the problem with most guides for survival hunter is they're structured just like any other guide out there. And they just kind of throw at you all this information and you're not really sure what to do with it, especially if you've never played the class. So with this guide, I'm going to take a more relaxed structure. And I kind of want to structure this video as if you're just hanging out in the room with me and I'm just showing you how to play the game. Uh, I think that's going to hit home a lot better for a lot of people. Um, don't get me wrong, I will touch on talents. I am going to obviously be talking about rotation. Um, but for the most part, I just want to get you guys comfortable with the class. Guys, I don't want to ramble on anymore that I have to. Let's just get into the meat of the video. Before we do, I do want to remind you to like the video if you do like it and to subscribe if you want to see more Hunter content just like this every week. So yeah, let's go. So let's start off with the basic concept, guys. One thing you need to know about Survive Hunter is that there are actually, while while it is a melee class, technically, there are only a few abilities that you actually have to be within melee range to use. I mean, literally, your Serpent Sting, your Kill Command, your Murderer Crows if you take it, your Wildfire Bombs, your Tranquilize and Dispel, your Kill Shot, these can all be used from range, guys. And what this means is that you're able to prime your targets before you actually go and get up close and personal. You can literally put all your dots on your enemy before you're even close enough to start actually doing damage. Now this is going to be super beneficial against other melee DPS. Now Survival Hunter, it is kind of squishy, but that's why it's built this way. So it's important to learn to play it this way and not just assume that you need to be within melee range for everything you need to do. Matter of fact, most of the time, you should not be in melee range, which is kind of a weird way to think about it. Oh, uh, your traps obviously can be used from range as well. Now, when you're transitioning from BM or MM to survival, there's a couple important things to know. First of all, you get your aspect of the cheetah, you get your aspect of the turtle, and if you're transitioning from BM, you get your kill command, you get your exhilaration, there are a lot of the same spells that carry over here, guys. Now, specifically with Kill Command, it's going to perform a little bit differently, and I'll get into that in just a second. And that's, I think, what kind of trips people up uh, is because they use Kill Command as if they're playing BM when that's not how it should be used. So this is the talent build that I like to run, guys. Granted, this is more focused on single target, but with this build, especially if you're running the Night Fae Covenant, you still have plenty plenty uh, of AoE potential. But assuming you're not running Knife A, you still have a couple of good AoE abilities. So again, there are multiple builds. There are multiple ways to spec your Survival Hunter. This is this is the way that I feel like it's gonna be easiest for you guys to kind of transition over from the specs that you have been playing. So first of all, Alpha Predator Kill Command now has two charges, deals 30% increased damage, must have. 100% must have. Gorilla Tactics, Wildfire Bomb now has two charges, and the initial explosion deals 100% increased damage. Must have. Camouflage. Now, if you're playing MM or BM, you might not use camouflage in your build. With survival, you're gonna want to. The way Survival Hunter kind of plays is almost like a cross between a rogue and a hunter, in a way. Not as far as the rotation, but just kind of the general vibe. You're gonna want to take camouflage. The level 35 row is up for debate. I like Murder of Crows. I used Murder of Crows when I was a BM main and it just helped me kind of transition over. So if you are using Murder of Crows currently, I would recommend using Murder of Crows. Your other two options are an active and a passive. Your passive is going to be Bloodseeker, which causes your kill command to cause bleed on the target uh, and also increases your pet's attack speed. So just an overall passive damage boost. And then with Steel Trap, you basically get another trap. And that trap not only immobilizes them, but it also causes bleed as well. Level 40 row is also up for debate. I would recommend using post haste unless you're already using binding shot in your current build if you're used to using binding shot if you use binding shot frequently feel free okay guys feel free this is all about making the transition easier i always used post haste and with survival hunter technically being melee class you're gonna want all the speed boosts that you're able to get and then born to be wild will just reduce the cooldowns of your aspects 
Cool if you want it, I would say these two are much, much, much more valuable. In row 45, we're taking Mongoose Bite, and in row 50, we're taking Wildfire Infusion, but we're gonna talk about those later. We're gonna talk about those later, and matter of fact, I'm just gonna unselect those talents right now as we get into the rotation. So speaking of rotation, we're moving into that segment now. Now this is where it gets fun. One thing that I wanna point out, your kill command does not cost focus, it grants focus. Now, if you're playing Beast Mastery and you want to get yourself some focus, you're obviously going to be using uh, either Chimera Shot or Aspect of the Wild. And with Marksmanship, you're going to be using Steady Shot or you're going to be using Rapid Fire. Kill Command is how you regen focus in this spec. And that's the only way that you regen focus, but it's okay. It actually simplifies it a little bit and still gives you just as much value because you're basically always going to have Kill Command up. So obviously your numbers are going to be different. You can see my kill command does just over a thousand damage. Now my raptor strike does 2000 damage. Your raptor strike is gonna be your main damage dealer guys. And this is one of the abilities that you do have to be within melee range to use. Now aside from that, you got your serpent sting, which causes poison on the enemy. You got your murder of crows, which deals damage over time as well. And then you also have your wildfire bombs, which are going to do for me roughly 2000 damage over six seconds. So it's important and I've got the rotation on the top of the screen for you guys so you'll be able to see it nice and easy. So when you're entering combat, like I said, you wanna prime your enemy from a distance. And the main three abilities that you're gonna to use to do that are your damage over time. So you're gonna cast your serpent sting, you're gonna cast your murderer crows, and then you're gonna cast your wildfire bombs. And so that's kind of what your opener is gonna look like. Now, if you're doing your burst rotation, you want to cast Coordinated Assault. Coordinated Assault is basically the equivalent of your Bistro Wrath. And as you can see, it says you and your pet attack as one, increasing all damage you both deal by 20% for 20 seconds. And while Coordinated Assault is active, Kill Command's chance to reset is increased by 25%. So there's your opener, guys. Okay, next thing to keep in mind. When you're playing Survival Hunter, like I said, you want to keep your distance most of the time. And it's kind of a, it's an in and out play style. So what you're going to do is you're going to cast your damage over time spells. Then you're going to jump in with your harpoon. I'll show you in just a second. You're going to fucking wail on him. You're going to wail on him with your, uh, with your Raptor Strike. And then you're going to disengage, get the fuck out of there. Um, it's a hit and run spec, guys. So imagine I'm coming up on this enemy. Now I don't have my coordinated assault up, but uh, if this was an opener in a PvP situation, I would be casting it. But it's gonna look something like this. Here's my enemy, Serpent Sting, Murder of Crows, Wildfire Bomb. Oops. I'm gonna jump in with my Harpoon, and I'm gonna start wailing on him with my Raptor Strike. Now you can see that I run out of focus pretty quickly. That's when I'm gonna use Kill Command. There's my two charges. I get back to doing Raptor Strike. Once I'm out of focus, disengage, get the hell out of there. Now you've just done a significant portion of damage to the enemy. And guys, that is as simple as the DPS rotation basically gets. Now, there's one other thing to keep in mind, or a couple other things I should say. Okay, if you're going up against multiple enemies, you want to use your carve. There's one of your main AoEs. Another thing to take into consideration, when you are lining up your wildfire bombs, it does damage in a cone. Boom. Oh, well, these enemies aren't close enough together. But if the enemies were close enough together, guys, you'd be damaging both or all three or all four of them. Now, my main point here with this damage rotation, if your health's low or if you can't afford to get in close, uh, say you're up on a ledge and your enemy's down below and you don't want to jump down because you're in your advantageous position, you cast your ability Aspect of the Eagle increases the range of your Raptor Strike to 40 yards for 15 seconds. And that's going to make your damage rotation look a little bit more like this. Serpent Sting. Murderer Crows, Wildfire Bomb, Coordinated Assault, Aspect of the Eagle, boom. Now we can chop away with our Raptor Strike from a distance. Pretty neat, right? Let's call the pet back. That's the gist of your rotation. It's pretty simple. Now where people get tripped up, we're gonna go back to the talents. Where people get tripped up, uh, is with Wildfire Infusion. And we're gonna take Mongoose Bite again. So let's look at Mongoose Bite first. Replaces Raptor Strike. Okay, that's your main damage dealer. So you remember how my Raptor Strike did 1900 damage and my Mongoose Bite's only doing 1794. But if you look at the bottom at Mongoose Fury, it says increases the damage of Mongoose Bite by 15% for 14 seconds 
stacking up to five times. Now, successive attacks don't increase the duration, um, but this impacts your rotation um, in a pretty significant way in that when your focus is full and you're ready to use your main damage de dealer, i.e. Raptor Strike, AKA now Mongoose Bite, you wanna use it as many times in a row and as close together as you can. Now, the next talent that people get tripped up on is our Wildfire Infusion. So what it does, remember our Wildfire Bomb was a simple bomb, had two charges, okay? Caused a little bit of damage over time, caused a little bit of damage up front, pretty simple. This is where Survival Hunter it gets a little bit tricky. Now, don't get overwhelmed because I'm gonna simplify it for you. It's not that hard to understand and I think I can deliver it for you in a pretty, uh, pretty easy to understand way, but let's read over it first. Lace your wildfire bomb with an extra regent, randomly giving it one of the following enhancements each time you throw it. Shrapnel bomb. Shrapnel bomb pierces the target, causing mongoose bite and carve to apply a bleed for nine seconds that stacks up to three times. Pheromone bomb. Kill command has a 100% chance to reset against targets coated with pheromones. Volatile bomb. Reacts violently with poison, causing an extra explosion against enemies suffering from your serpent sting and refreshes the duration of your serpent sting. Okay, there's a couple ways to remember this, guys. Now, there are going to be three different colors, and it's going to be blue, green, and red. Basically, the way you want to look at it is the red bomb affects your kill command, which is also another red spell. Your green bomb is going to affect your serpent sting, which is another green spell. And your blue bomb is going to affect your mongoose bite, aka raptor strike. Now, when we only had raptor strike, this was a blue spell. Now, mongoose bite, it's a red spell, so it kind of throws it off. But just remember, the red bomb affects your kill command. The green bomb affects your serpent sting and the blue bomb is the last one left which is basically going to affect your main big damage spell so essentially guys your rotation is going to stay basically the same just with slight modifications when you have your shrapnel bomb up all this means is that now is the time to start using your mongoose bite your big damage dealer so if you've got the blue bomb up your shrapnel bomb your opener is going to look the same serpent sting murderer crows coordinated assault and now we're gonna hit shrapnel bomb. And we start wailing away. Remember you wanna use, uh, you wanna use as many mongoose bites as you can in a row. And that one's pretty simple. All it does is it applies another bleed to your main damage dealer. Now before we go any further, these bombs are randomly generating, but you're not gonna get the same bomb twice in a row. Now, when you have your red bomb up, this means that you're gonna be able to continually use kill command. You have unlimited charges. So if you have your red bomb up, remember kill command is the spell that's gonna help us regenerate focus. So if your red bomb's up, okay, your pheromone bomb, now would be a good time to spend all the fucking focus you have on doing as much damage as possible. Afterwards, you're gonna throw your red bomb, you're gonna get out of there, and you're just gonna smash kill command over and over until your focus is back up. And I'll show you what that's gonna look like. What I want you to pay attention to is not only the rotation on the top, but also how much focus I have, okay? So let's see what it looks like. Serpent Sting, Murderer Crows. We're gonna use our Blue Bomb, perfect. We're gonna jump in, we're gonna start wailing on them. All of our focus is gone. We can use our first two charges of Kill Command, get a couple uh, Mongoose Bites off, disengage. Now we're gonna use our Red Bomb, now look. You can see in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, my kill command just keeps recharging and I was easily able to get myself back up to full focus. If you have your red bomb, just know that it's okay to spend all your focus. You just gotta chuck that red bomb afterwards and start smashing kill command. Now our green bomb is gonna do more damage to targets afflicted by our serpent sting. But not only that, it's also going to refresh the duration of our serpent sting. So what you wanna do with this bomb is, first of all, make sure you cast serpent sting first but you want to use the bomb at the end of when your serpent sting is about to expire this is how you're going to maximize the benefits of your uh, of your green bomb or what's it called i don't even know of your uh your volatile bomb aka the green bomb as i call it so let's take a look at the rotation if we go ahead and get ourselves a green bomb aka a volatile bomb same thing serpent sting murder crows coordinated assault we're going to use our bomb now you can see my serpent sting is almost expired. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. I'm gonna use that bomb. It's gonna refresh the duration. 
and we're going to keep smashing away at the target. Now you can see that the main rotation, guys, is basically just kill Commander Mongoose Bite. Okay, it's not, it's not entirely, it's not really that difficult. And that's it, guys. Now, it, it will take some practice. Um, it, it will take some getting used to. But the main things that you want to know, and we're gonna, I'm gonna go over it just once more. Kill command is what you use to regenerate your focus. Number two, all of your damage over times can be applied from a distance. Number three, you still get your aspect of the cheetah, you still get your aspect of the turtle, you still get your exhilaration, you still get a lot of those spells that belong to the other specs, and make sure to put those in the same key bindings. If you want to have an easier transition, that. If you want to have an easier transition, put those same spells in the same key bind as you use with your other specs. Number four, hit and run. Okay, guys, if you can use the ability from range, do it. If you can't, get in and get out. Number five, pay attention to the color of your bombs. Okay, blue bomb is going to buff your mongoose bite, make it so it applies a bleed. Green bomb is going to buff your serpent sting makes the bomb do more damage and reset Serpent Sting. And Red Bomb is gonna buff your Kill Command if you get low on focus. Chuck that Red Bomb, start smashing Kill Command, you're up to max focus again in no time. One final thought before I let you guys go, I did briefly mention before, but I do recommend taking the Night Fate Covenant uh, for a couple reasons. One, because like I said, survival's a real hit and run type of spec, and if your disengage is on cooldown or if you don't have your aspect of the cheetah, that soul shape ability is really going to help you, you know, just have another thing to get you out of those sticky situations where you need to get away. Um, and also because the hunter's uh, night fae ability, wild spirits. Um, here, I'll just show you. Throws up this big thing. Any target you hit, it's going to hit all targets. Uh, which is really going to help you to take this single target build and squeeze a fuck ton of AoE potential out of it, I promise you. You can take whatever covenant you want, okay? I couldn't care less. But with this being a guide video, that is going to be my recommendation. Other than that, guys, it's the same as any other hunter spec. Um, you're going to use your kill shot whenever you get a chance. You're going to make sure that you are using your traps accordingly. You're going to make sure that you're taking the right pet for the right situation. You're going to make sure you're using your tranquilizing shot. Guys, I know it seems hard to transition, and again, it's just because of that wildfire bomb. Now, I'm really hoping to see a massive increase in people playing Survival Hunter. Because like I said, with this new patch that just came out the other day, uh, Marksmanship got nerfed. Uh, it's time for a change of pace. Plain and simple. Guys, I really hope this helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Again, I'm Blue Monkey, and I'll talk to you next week. Peace.